Are you serious? Are you serious? We have breaking news. Uh, the former president of Yemen has just been assassinated. He has just been shot dead. Ali Alabal al Saleh. You've heard me talk about him since the Arab Spring, when Obama did the Arab Spring. And the Tunisian president, Ben Ali, was removed. Then the Egyptian president, Hosni Mubarak, was removed. Then the uh, Libya president, Omar Gaddafi, was shot and murdered. And then the president of Yemen had to flee for his life. They, uh, there were seven different times that there were uh, assassination plots against him. He was even injured in a bombing. And he left the country. He was removed. Uh, in Yemen. Well, today he has been assassinated. The former veteran, former president Ali Alabal al Saleh has just been shot and killed after switching sides in Yemen's civil war, abandoning his Iranian aligned Houthi allies in favor of the Saudi led coalition. He, so he had been on the side of the Iranian Houthis and uh, Today, and so he switched to become part of the Saudi Arabian led coalition that's backed by the United States. And he has been shot and killed. Sources in the Houthi uh, 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 militants say that the fighters stopped Saleh's armored vehicle with an RPG rocket outside the embattled capital of Sana'a, there in Yemen. And then they shot him dead. So they fired a rocket. That stopped his motorcade. Then they went up and they assassinated him. He is confirmed dead in the attack on his envoy. Unverified footage of his bloodied body uh, in a blanket has circulated after he tore up his alliance with the Houthis following nearly three years in which they had jointly battled the Saudi-led coalition that intervened to try to reinstate Yemen's internationally recognized government. So he sided with the Houthis because after he was, uh, after he was run out of town, basically, during the Arab Spring that Obama brought out, he then sided with the Houthis thinking they could get him back in power because he was the president of the country. But, in, but then after he's seen they couldn't pull it off, he sided then with the Americans and the Saudi Arabians uh, and, and probably thinking that maybe he could still get back in power, but it would be the U.S. and the Saudis that would put him back in power. The Houthis didn't like that, and they have murdered him. In a televised speech today, Houthi leader Abu Malik al-Houthi congratulated the Yemen people for what he described as a victory against the conspiracy of treason engineered by the group's Gulf Arab enemies. He did not mention uh, Ali Alabala Saleh and that he was dead. Saleh was 75 years old. He had in a speech, he spoke in a speech on Saturday that he was ready for a new page in ties with the coalition and he called for the Houthis a coup militant, uh, he called the Houthis a coup militants Uh, leading them to accuse him of betrayal. So he left them. Warfare between the former allies had torn densely populated portions of the country for days as Houthi fighters seized control of much of the capital of Sana'a in Yemen. And on Monday, they even blew, today they even blew up Saleh's house while the coalition jet bombed their own position. The end of their alliance had seemed poised to transform the fortunes of war after two years of attrition among mostly static front lines, which gave the Saudi-led coalition a new advantage over the Houthis. But a stalemate in Yemen has contributed to a human catastrophe as the Saudi-led blockade and the internal fighting has thrust millions of people to the brink of famine and accelerated the spread of deadly epidemics in Yemen, including cholera that has affected over a half a million people. Eyes will now turn to Ali Alabal al Saleh's political allies and military commanders, whom analysts credited with aiding the Houthi march uh, in 2014 to dominate swaths of western Yemen. What happens now and whether his family and political allies 
fight on is not yet clear. Uh, but uh, former president of Yemen, Ali Alabalala Saleh, has been assassinated by the Houthi rebels today. And, uh, the, the, and the famine and uh, cholera and disease and Houthi rebels running around butchering and murdering people. And they fired two missiles into Saudi Arabia already. They did in the month of November. Uh, it is a total state of chaos. Way to go, President Obama. Great job in completely dis- destabilizing the entire Middle East in your Arab Spring of Democracy, you called it, back in 2011. You have completely caused chaos. Look at Iraq, a mess. Look at Syria, a million Christians murdered and we came and find their bodies. Look at Yemen, chaos. Look at Libya, uh, a haven for terrorism. Look at look at what you did. I mean, you destroyed Egypt. You two, they've had two presidents removed um, since in, in, since the Arab Spring, and now they're under third president with El Sisi, and 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 uh, Obama hated El Sisi. Way to go! What a what a mess. How about that? That all happened under your watch, Obama, under your direction. You called for the, these leaders to fall. You and Hillary Rodham Clinton have completely created the biggest chaos in history, what's called now the Middle East. And you have set the stage for a Sunni, Shiite, Muslim war that will probably spill over into Israel. Way to go. Great job. Oh, that's right. But you get to keep your Nobel Peace Prize.